of obscenity, a superstar of obscene comedy. Put your hands together for Mike Long. What's up, guys? Uh, Sarah, where's Sarah? You're right. Rape jokes are never funny. Rape jokes are never funny. It, but, but date rape jokes sometimes are. <laughs> but there's always that time when, you know, she'll laugh, but then she'll go tell all her friends later that she didn't want to laugh, and you forced her to laugh, and that's just... I, there's gotta be, like, there's gotta be a line of consent, right, Steve? There's gotta be a line of consent, I think. I mean, I don't know. I, I, you, any woman should always be able to say no at any point, but I'm just saying, if you, if you already said yes, and then you fall asleep, it's gotta be okay for me to finish, right? No? It's, it's like a movie. It's like if you and I watch a movie and you fall asleep halfway through the movie, like, I want to finish watching the movie. I'm not going to stop the movie. I mean, you, you wanted to watch the movie. You said, yes, let's start this movie. You just missed the ending. That doesn't mean... Okay, I'm not going to go there anymore. Uh, Sorry, I always yell and tell dick jokes. I'm going to try to be a little more intelligent. <laughs> Do you guys know that, uh, physiologically speaking, the pleasure center of our brain engages before any logic or reason or societal convention? Yeah. So, you should always wear underwear around dogs. <laughs> and you should never, ever uh, have, have sex with a woman when, when her dog's out and it will lick you directly in the asshole. I'm sorry. It, it will lick you directly in the asshole. That's what dogs do. And you got to wear that like a badge of shame. It's, it's, it's really scary. Um, smell is the sense most closely associated with memory. Now, the only reason why this matters to me is because I've, uh, I've had a weird life. And, and I've noticed out of the women that I've been with, which isn't too high of a number, but a really... Large percentage of those women have owned ferrets. Now, <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever smelled a ferret, but it, it reeks. It just fucking stinks. It's just this really distinctive stench that burns in there. And after the you know fourth time that you go home with a young lady on a on a first date and she ends up asking you to fuck her in the ass and she owns a ferret, like I'm just saying. Some weird Pavlovian response thing is being wired in there, and, and it's, it's horrible. I, it's completely subconscious, but uh, it happened, and I had to explain to my girlfriend why I had a boner in a pet store. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it was an awkward conversation, because of course she asks the logical question, like, do you, do you have a thing for bestiality? And, and I should have said no, but... <laughs> But I have no filter, so I'm like, well, there was this short time with this chick and her dog. You know, what? physiologically speaking, the pleasure center of our brain engages before any logic or reason or society. It was a short time it took one synapse to shoot, for, you know, a neuron from one synapse to the other. It was a very short time, but it didn't feel bad. I mean, I'm sorry. I Unexpected tongue in your ass during a sex act is, I've been in orgies. That's good in the right context. She thinks I need to register somewhere. Uh, but it works out. I like pissing her off. Because um, you guys know, I don't know if you've been in a relationship for a while. You, you lose that little extra special. Well, here's another brain joke. The pleasure center of rats' brains actually fires more when they have to work for a reward instead of just being given it. And that's why I think guys go out downtown and try to get laid. Because... You know, it's, it's that little thrill of the hunt, and it kicks off, so it's, it's more, it, it, well, I'm in a relationship, so now I just, some innocuous argument will happen about, you know, I didn't do this or something or whatever, and I'll take it way over the top, I'll just be like, you fucking whore! <laughs> and then, you know, six hours later, because I, I, I used to be a sales guy, and I kind of miss talking people into getting screwed, <laughs> so six hours later, when she finally lets me fuck her, that's the most amazing sex ever. That's fucking amazing. I mean, it's a good thing to work really hard for it. We're all, we're all just rats. <laughs> hey, uh, did you guys know that zebras actually 
they perform abortion through forced copulation. <laughs> no shit, they, they do it in times of famine as a means of population control. So that's what's black, white, and red all over. <laughs> Should have stayed with the dick jokes. All right, thanks guys, I'm Mike Long.